ஹரே கிருஷ்ணா வெல்கம் டு கிருஷ்ணா ஸ்கியூசி ஐ ஆம் புவன் சுந்தரி ராதா தேவிதாசி வித் கௌர் பூர்ணிமா ஸ்பெஷல் ரெசிபி டுடே வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு ஹியர் அ ஒண்டர்ஃபுல் பேஸ்ட் டைம் ஆஃப் ஸ்ரீ சைத்தன்ய மகாபிரபு அண்ட் ஆல்சோ ப்ரிப்பேர் அ ட்ரெடிஷ்னல் டிஷ் பேஸ்ட் ஆன் த பேஸ்ட் டைம் குலா வெஜா ஹேஸ் வெரி ஸ்வீட் பேஸ்ட் டைம்ஸ் வித் மகாபிரபு குலா வெஜா ஸ்ரீதர் வாஸ் வெரி பூர் தட் ஹீ ஜஸ்ட் ஹேட் அ ப்ரோக்கன் பாட் டு ட்ரிங்க் வாட்டர் ஃப்ரம் But he was a wonderful devotee residing near Jagannath temple in Rajapur now. Even after being poor, Kola Vecha gave 50% of his little earnings for Ganga Puja. He used to sell bananas and banana products. When Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came to Kola Vecha, he could not identify Mahaprabhu as the Supreme Lord. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu often used to question, Kula Vecha that he was poor even after being a devotee while others were rich or why was he giving his income for Ganga Puja even after being so poor or why was he spending even after he had torn clothes to wear and a dripping ceiling. To all these questions Kula Vecha always gave positive and faithful answers like at least he had clothes to cover his body. and cold air entering his home through the holes on the ceiling but at the same time he would get irritated and badly troubled he also used to say that there is difference in the variety of suffering and happiness for rich and poor people but both are there in everyone's life chaitanya mahaprabhu would get very happy hearing this from kola vecha yet he would not stop troubling him externally kula vecha showed that he was not happy with this instinct but within his heart he always wanted nimai pandit to come and continue buying from him the associates somehow find kula vecha after kula vecha comes the most merciful mahaprabhu tells him to ask for any benediction kula vecha says that he does not want any thing one day gauranga mahaprabhu was exhibiting maha prakash leela where he showed his six armed form at the shrivas angan and asked his associates to call kola vecha in bengali kola means banana and vecha means the one who sells chaitanya mahaprabhu then persists that he must ask for something then kula vecha says life after life i want to see you in the same nimai pandit form who comes and argues with me for bananas chaitanya bhagavat so this is how merciful mahaprabhu is and we also get to know that nimai pandit loved preparations from bananas and its products so today we are going to prepare a very old and traditional bengali dish named mochar ghonto this is made up of banana flowers so let's get started here i have taken a banana flower just like sweet corn remove the first layer and here you can see such florets take them out Similarly continue plucking this until you get a white conical hard structure. Now apply some oil on your palm and on the knife. This is important to avoid the florets to stick on to the knife and hand. Now we will clean this florets. Gently open the floret and pluck out the calyx. And the pistil, it is identified easily. It is longer than other filaments and have a rounded head. Repeat the same. you can see here and remove it
similarly clean all the florets we have cleaned all of them discard the pistil and the calyx next take some water into this add half teaspoon of salt 1/4 teaspoon of turmeric powder mix it and keep it aside now cut this florets into very small pieces easily we can cut this now put this all in salty water take the inner white part of the flower cut this cut it two into small pieces and put it into the water wash it and drain out the water transfer all of it into the cooker add 1/4 teaspoon of salt 1/4 teaspoon turmeric powder add 1 and 1/2 cup of water mix it cover it and cook it for one whistle on low flame here i have soaked 3 tablespoon of black chanas over night it has been 15 minutes let's open the lid and check everything have cooked well it has softened now drain out all the water The water has been drained. Now squeeze out all the water from the florets too. Keep it aside for ten minutes. Take a pan and add three tablespoon of mustard oil. The oil have heated well. Now add five foreign. and their quantity have been mentioned in the description box below add 2 chopped green chillies 1 tablespoon of grated ginger saute all this well the mustard oil and the patch foreign add a unique flavor to our gonto now add 1 diced potato add 1/4 teaspoon of turmeric powder mix it let the potatoes cook on low flame for 2 minutes cover the lid after 2 minutes let's check give it a stir and the potatoes have got a crispy layer now add 4 tablespoon of fresh grated coconut mix and saute it for a minute coconut gives a fresh and tropical taste add salt to taste 1 teaspoon of sugar and the soaked chanas add half cup of water mix it well again for more such gaur purnima special recipes stay connected to krishna's cuisine now cover the lid and let it cook on low flame for 5 to 6 minutes 
आफ्टर सिक्स मिनिट्स गिव इट अ स्टार नेक्स्ट ऐड द बनाना फ्लावर कंबाइन इट वेल आई हैव लिस्टेड डाउन ऑल द इंग्रेडिएंट्स विद देयर मेजरमेंट्स इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स बिलो यू कैन रेफर इट नाउ कुक ऑल टुगेदर फॉर सिक्स टू सेवन मिनट्स ऑन लो फ्लेम आफ्टर सिक्स मिनट्स This is perfectly cooked. Potato, chana, and flowers have cooked very well. Now add half teaspoon of garam masala. Add one teaspoon of ghee. Mix it once more. Adding ghee and garam masala at the end enhances its flavor. Mochar gonto is absolutely ready. Gaur Purnima special and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's favorite mochar gonto is ready. Let's place a tulsi leaf and offer it to Shri Shri Gaur Nithai. Mochar gonto is offered and ready. If you like bhoga recipes please like share subscribe and click on the bell icon below so you do not miss any bhoga recipe Hari Krishna Hari Bol Shri Chaitanya Maha